obviously this was a big surprise to the upside. Uh, why such a surprise? How did they pull this off this quarter in a way that was not expected, Selena? There was already some growing optimism around the company. They'd had several quarters of consecutive healthy gains, but this really is a sign that they are on the path to accelerated revenue and user growth. Not only did they beat the revenue expectations by a wide margin, they also beat on the monetizable daily active user growth. So this is really a sign to investors that all of their investments in product innovations and making the product easier to use and finally really iterating on their core features is actually having an impact as well as their efforts to reduce spam and toxicity uh, but most importantly advertisers are following where the user eyeballs are and as the daily active users numbers go up advertisers will follow along yeah talking about toxic content how are they doing in cleaning up their platform now, Twitter has a history of being very slow to clean up on the abuse and spammy content front. And Jack Dorsey has reiterated for several quarters that this is the number one priority. Now, one of the primary criticisms of Twitter, I mean, anybody user, any heavy user knows that it's they are flooded with abusive content, with a lot of spam, and it's always relied on users. It's always been the burden of the victim to report that content. Now, Twitter said recently that now actually 38% of the content that they take action on has been surfaced by Twitter's own algorithms rather than 0% from before where it was completely reliant on users to report them. And what is Jack Dorsey saying about uh, his priorities or where they might see growth in the in the quarters ahead? So in addition to improving the health of conversation of the platform, which obviously they're under a lot of fire for, not only Twitter, but also Facebook and YouTube, Jack Dorsey is also prioritizing trying to make the service more conversational. Right now, it's really hard to follow a conversation, to participate in one on Twitter. It gets very messy and jumbled, so they're trying to streamline that. They've also released this beta app for the first time ever that's been open to the public for a few weeks now in which they're testing out different features and actually rethinking some of the core structure of the product. And in, in addition to that, Twitter still has a long way to go in terms of making it easier for people who are just starting on the service to follow their interests. So that's another area they're focused on as well. Selena, have they said anything about the president's continued attack on Twitter for what he claims are discriminatory practices against Republicans? Right, and for some context around that, Trump is referring to the effort on Twitter's part to reduce the millions of spam and abusive, hateful and fake accounts on the service, which have, of course, impacted some of these high-profile users like Donald Trump. He's arguing that his users would have been, followers would have been even higher if it hadn't been for some of these initiatives on the part of Twitter. Now, Twitter is reiterating what it said over and over again, that it's not biased, it's an apolitical company, it makes decisions based on technical specifications, not for any political reasons.